just when it couldn't get crazier, it just did. XRP, we've got some pretty big news for you as well as I want to double back and take a look at these filings that came in from the SEC. But first, we're going to be breaking down what the hell is going on with BRICS, why this is super exciting for XRP and why you might be about to see a massive price rally even if the SEC want to keep doing what they're doing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video far and wide. There's lots to talk about when it comes to XRP and people need to hear. So head down there, click that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and let's get into it. So we've kind of talked about BRICS on the channel before. We talked about all of the nations that are involved in BRICS and why there is an absolute desire to move to a blockchain-based technology or financial infrastructure. Now, we talked a little bit about obviously rejecting the dollar and how bullish you've got some of these countries are. We even saw Ripple partnering up with Brazil, which obviously is pretty big. Now, what am I talking about? Well, we've got some pretty interesting BRICS news. In fact, they have been testing on blockchain technology payments and everything else. There's actually a video of them here testing on the BRICS business forum, the blockchain technology. Now, lots of people are speculating that it's going to be XRPL. This is important to think about. And there are direct links back to the Ripple company. Many more have obviously been discussing this on a wider, broad term basis. Now, you simply have to move forward and look at exactly what's coming out. So here, Vladimir Putin reveals BRICS plan to adopt Bitcoin and XRPL. XRP. The BRICS alliance is growing strong as it continues to reflect and shift to alternate assets, classes like Bitcoin XRP, while the speculation regarding a shift to cryptocurrency is growing. Russian President Vladimir Putin just shared insights into what to expect. One thing is for certain, however, that a planned pivot from the US dollar and the members of the countries in the BRICS block are exploring alternatives. Many options are on the table with respect to the, including the integration of top digital currencies. Now, when you look at what's happening with Bitcoin, in particular those ETFs, if you haven't watched that video I dropped earlier, definitely go and check that out. Then this is absolutely aligned to what we think. The fact that we have mass adoption of Bitcoin coming from institutional investors. We've only recently seen the New York Stock Exchange allowing options trading now on Bitcoin ETFs, all of which is huge. Well, BRICS can get involved with it. The best analogy I heard earlier is the US dollar has halved in its value. If you think of it this way, to buy a house at an average price 10 years ago may have been $300,000 or around 600 Bitcoin. Think about that now. What does that look like? Eight Bitcoin, the dollar value would be 400,000. So it's a very interesting narrative. And this is why we are seeing BRICS and many other nations reject the dollar and look to adopt a more digitalized currency, Bitcoin, XRP, and many, many others. And I think we'll see this build out quite significantly over the short period of time. Equally, like we said, don't forget we are seeing partnerships coming. So Ripple partnering with Brazil Exchange Mercado to offer business-focused payment solutions, as well as Uphold, Metaco, and many, many others. Again, aligned to this financial infrastructure, XRP is positioning itself to be the digital currency provider of the BRICS nation. And I think this could be huge. Remember, they are in the early stages of adopting digital currency. They are absolutely like sponges when it take this up. And all it would take is for the BRICS nations to really adopt XRP and we could be in for a huge rally. The fact that we have Russia, Russia starting to get involved could be pretty crazy. So why then may you say, well, hold on a minute, two bit. The SEC are going against Ripple. There's lots of things going on. Well, actually interesting today, we heard a flip, the potential removal of Gary Gensler, even if it's a Harris administration that gets into the US uh, White House. Could be interesting. Either way, right now for Gary Gensler, he looks like he is treading on thin ice. So this is going to be very interesting. And that's why, once again, you've had people like Brad Gallinghouse giving their view specifically on what's happening and, more importantly, where Ripple is going. So think about it. They're currently obviously back into litigation with the SEC, albeit it's a complete falsification and complete narrative that should be thrown out. But the reality is people are still working in the background with lots of ambition when it comes to Ripple and XRP. Brad Gallinghouse putting the brakes on just a touch. Again, referencing here the ambition to become a publicly traded company or hold an IPO. Now, the reason he gives is obviously the tension between themselves and the SEC. Quote, an IPO has not been a high priority for us as part of that is because the SEC is not our friend. I'm not really popular there. They don't have pictures of me in the halls of the SEC unless they have dartboards 
on them now, which obviously is pretty interesting. He goes on to say, most companies go public because they want to raise capital. We have been fortunate that we are in a strong financial position. We've continued to make acquisitions. We've continued to invest a lot in different projects around crypto, around XRP. For most people, there's an urgency to go public. They're talking about going public as quickly as can be because they want to raise capital. And that's the difference here. Ripple don't need to. And I think this is important. Again, thinking about the whole narrative with the SEC, it's even crazier that today they obviously allowed Bitcoin trading on options for those ETFs. Interesting indeed. So what does it mean when it doubles back when it comes to XRP? And I thought this was interesting, just specifically around Form C that we have been talking about. Well, what is it? Well, the judge ultimately will examine this on legal grounds of the case rather than simply reviewing the decision's outcome. The SEC's filing specifically, however, is on two points, institutional sales of XRP and the distribution of XRP in exchanges for non-cash considerations. So this isn't as big as I think a lot of people believe. This isn't as big as kind of a lot of people want to believe. And more importantly here, this could actually be done as quick as the SEC want it or when potentially there's a new president in the White House. Again, we'll keep you up to date with this, but I do want to just stress here that this is not as bad as I think a lot of people do. Yes, it will drag out. Yes, it's a bit frustrating it's come in, but it certainly just isn't as bad as I think a lot of people originally thought when it comes to XRP. I'm still incredibly bullish. Think about that news coming out of BRICS. Think about actually the fact that we've got the SEC really wobbling to try and find anything to go after XRP. I, as always, am pretty bullish on exactly where XRP is going to go. I know a lot of people in my community have gone long trading there on Mexi. Link in the description if you're interested. $8,000 worth of bonuses. Signups are free as well, as well as 10% rebates on all your trades. So definitely worthwhile checking out. But as always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What's your view on the bricks? Do you think they're adopting XRP? And let me know, as always, what you think of the SEC. Well, Gary Gensler's here in two weeks' time. As always, thanks so much, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.